Good morning, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. It has been a very eventful weekend. We went up to Alora, Ontario, Canada for a plein air festival. My husband and I both went up. He's the plein air painter. I'm not. I'm the writer and the junk journal creator. So uh, I just thought I'd share with you a few things that I did while we were up there and then Oh my glory, I can't wait to share with you my Canadian haul. We'll talk about that in a moment. So I have this, a friend of mine gave us uh, these chocolates for Christmas and I have kept the box because, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. I also got from Stampin' Up! some watercolor pencils not too long ago. And I have another set of pencils that I had gotten from my daughter. These are Punctuate. Um, and I, I couldn't take everything with me. It just, you know, there were only so much room in the car. So I only brought the Stampin' Up! pencils and the um, Stampin' Up! water painters with me. And I thought, let's, while he's painting his plain air paintings, I'm going to go ahead and paint some stamps that I had done. So these are the stamps that I had done. I'm going to fussy cut them out. Um, I decided I, I did the on here. I tried to do the the gray one. I had stamped one in gray. I didn't like it, so I didn't even bother doing that one there. I might fussy cut that out and just do it as a like a black and white. I didn't get to all of them, um, mostly because I it really wasn't very comfortable doing it in the car, and I thought I would do some fussy cutting. Except it really helps if you bring a pair of scissors. And I left my fussy cutting scissors at home. What I will show you, one of the things that I did decide that I was going to try while I was there. I think I have it here somewhere. Is it hiding here? Or did I? Did I? No, it's here. So don't laugh at me too much. I am not an artist by any mean. A, a, a visual artist. I, I cannot paint. Um, I do not draw very well, although I have a fairly decent idea of what perspective is. And uh, I decided as I was sitting there, one of the reasons I didn't get these finished was because, you know, I'm playing around with watercolors. Now I have a limited palette. There are only this many colors in here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there's 13 colors, although one of them is white. Um, so I really only have 12 colors to play with. And in paint that's fine in pencils that's a little limiting so I thought but I thought what the heck I'm going to go ahead and paint the archway that goes over paint draw paint the archway that goes over Victoria Park in Alora and let me see what I can do don't laugh at me I think if we cut it here it's not too bad but yeah that's why I am not a plein air painter huh Although I, I did a plein air painting, so I suppose I can call myself one. I will be putting up uh, pictures of my husband's paintings that he did. Um, uh, it will be on Junk Journals with Cindy, my Facebook page. So if you want to see what he did, please make sure you take a look at that link down below and uh, take a look at his paintings. They are all for sale, just so you know. So one of the um caveats in going this time i found in guelph which is about 18 minutes from melora it's another uh, it's a somewhat larger city uh, uh i would say south but i think it's actually south east of alora um but down in guelph they have a store called Unique, Unique Scrapbooking Store. And so, of course, we had to go. So we went, and I'm going to show you my haul. This is These are some of the things that I got there. I love these papers. I guess I'm really about the florals. And I really like all of these florals. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're vintage-y. They're two-sided, and I thought, okay, I can find some a lot of work to, to do with those. A little bit of fuzz there. Let me get rid of the fuzz. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. I also found an ephemera pack that I have. I looked on the back, but I haven't opened it yet. So I thought real quick I would open up the ephemera pack. I'm very excited about this. 
to see what all is in here. And of course, I will probably take these out and put them into something else where I can see them a little bit better. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wildly dreaming. Just look at these. Again, I guess I'm all about the florals. These florals do not necessarily match the ones that I just bought. But what I like about them, they're all die cuts, but they're already fussy cut. So I don't have to do the fussy cutting because I'm not particularly good at the fussy cutting. I'm going to piece of fuzz. All right. There must have been something fuzzy in that bag. I also picked up some colored laces. Um, I don't, uh, all the laces I have at this point are either off-white or white. I didn't have anything that was in a different color. And I thought, well, you know, what the heck? I, that looks like it's really cool. So I picked up some of those. I picked up a travel ephemera pack. And this one should open a little bit easier. It's, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing really what's in here. Because, you know, you, you see the pictures on the back, but it's a little different from sometimes seeing the pieces inside. And there are some envelopes in here. There are tags. Some nice big pictures. Oh, there's some more florals. Um, yeah, these will be cool to play with. So I don't... There's another tag. And another tag. Just some circles. A lot of envelopes. And this is from 27 Paper Elements. Places will go from Minte Papers. These were Bow Bunny. Uh, Minte Papers seems to be a, uh, a brand that they carried quite a bit of. So, okay, those will be fun to play with. But my real score at this particular store were these. And I bought two packs. I know those of you who are from other places are looking at me going, what's so big about Stamperia? I can't get these near me. I bought 12 by 12 Magic Forest and Vintage Library. Um, if you look on the back, this I like the dragon over here and the medieval look. There's an owl. I like the piano here. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with either one of these. I don't care. I just really loved them. They're absolutely beautiful papers. So I am looking forward to seeing what happens with Stamperia, these Stamperia papers. If you have done stuff with Stamperia in the past, would you put pictures of it? Uh, I don't know, on my Facebook page. If you, I don't think you can put pictures down below in the YouTube comments. But put a, a note in the comments that you have done stuff with Stamperia and where I can find them and what I can look and see. I'm looking for some inspiration on what to do with these particular pads. I'm very excited to have them. So that was one thing. And then on set, that was on uh, Friday that we went over and, and went to Unique Scrapbooking Store. I will put the, the, they have a Facebook page. I will put their Facebook page in the links down below. Um, but we also on Saturday ended up over at Canadian Tire our battery died, so we needed to go get in. We got a jump, and then we needed to go over to Canadian Tire to buy a new battery. Um, what was interesting was that three artists, there were 70 artists in this particular Plain Air Festival, 7-0, and three of us had battery issues on Saturday, all over in Fergus. We, you know, one of the artists was... Um, blaming it on the recent solar flare. Uh, the reality was our battery was five years old and there was a lot of corrosion on the terminals. So I, we just needed a new battery. Anyway, we ended up over at Canadian Tire and what was right next to Canadian Tire? Dollarama. Now, Dollarama and Dollar Tree are the same company. Dollarama's in Canada. Dollar Tree is here in the United States. Um, I don't know which one came first or if they both evolved at the same time. But it's still the same basic principle. It's a dollar and a quarter anymore, but it was a dollar and a quarter Canadian, which for me was about 90 cents. 
So it was actually a little bit cheaper to go shopping at the Dollarama than it was to shop at my Dollar Tree, where it's a dollar and a quarter American. So I bought two pieces of lace, again, in off-white off -white and white. Uh, but it's a wider lace. I don't have anything this wide and haven't been able to get it. I will say the Dollar Tree was immaculate. I swear you could have eaten off the floors. It was gorgeous. And the selection. Holy cow. Look at this. I've not been able to find anything like this down here in the States. These are, I don't think they're stickers. I think they're die cuts. Because it doesn't say, it just says paper butterflies. But look at these. Aren't these stunning? Yeah, they're just paper. They're, they're um, die cuts. Look at them. I think, and, there, and there's a lot of pretty much, it's just 33 pieces. Um, these are all the same. I don't care because I'll use them on different projects. But just beautiful to get these cut out butterflies. I'm really looking forward to using them. There's some a monarch. We have monarch butterflies here. These are huge. Okay, these are, are quite large. Got some smaller ones here. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, let me grab it. See if I can get it. That's a smaller one. And that's a smaller one. There's another small one. And then some that are, this. these are massive. I'm not sure how I'll use those. Those might be too big for, at least for the projects that I do. But, you know, for 90 cents American, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to put them, oh, there are still some more in there. Oh, oh, wait, 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 there's some more in there that are different. There's those little tiny ones again, and then there's some yellow ones. Oh, cool. Those are really pretty. They don't have the antennae on them, and that's fine, because I would just pencil those in anyway, or marker those in. I'm not going to put them back in there, because, again, I don't know where how I'm going to store them. And then the last thing that I got, and I, this was one of those things that you look at it and you say, okay, I should make choices. And then eventually you say, you know what? I'm not going to make choices. I'm just going to get one of everything. So these are like, they're little bags. And I'm pretty sure that once I open them up, the handle's not going to work as a bag anymore. But um, heck, I'm not even sure I can get them open. But these were also at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I guess we're just going to rip it open the, along the side. Put that in the recycling. Okay. Let me take that off. To there. But I don't know. I'm sure I can do something with that. But anyway, I picked up all these packages of these clear stickers. And they're all, yeah, they're all stickers. So the backing will come off of them. I'm not even going to make an attempt to try that right now because we all know how that does not always work very easily. I can't even get that back in there right now. There we go. But these are all sorts of spring flowers. They're all in pinks and purples. These are all butterflies, more butterflies to play with. I have so many butterflies now. More flowers. These are daisies. These are, what are these? These are tulips. Like I said, how was I going to leave them there? For the price, these are also tulips, but they're a, they're longer. They're different. They're, it's a different set of tulips. So I've got a bunch of tulips. And then the lavender, the very purpley kind of flowers. Looks like uh, Canterbury Bells, and I'm not sure what else is in there. Asters, perhaps. Doesn't matter. They're purple, and I'm going to be able to play with them. So I have all of these new toys to play with. I have butterflies, stickers. I have laces. I have Stamperia papers. Again, please leave me comments about what you have done or links. I have purple stuff. 
uh, or pinky purple stuff. I have cutouts. I have um, more travel cutouts over here. And I now have these papers. That's Minte papers for passionate paper crafters. I guess that fits us, doesn't it? Oh, and laces. Oh, and one more thing. I bought washi tape. This is Rainbow Daisy. I also got this from Unique, from Pink Fresh Studio. Let me open it up and see really what it is. Because, I mean, you could kind of tell, sort of, okay. I love how when you watch the videos of these things, they always open so easily. And then you go to really open it. Eh, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to leave that there so I remember that it was from Paper Fresh. Let me see what I can do about peeling that back. And see what this wash is. But I don't have any wide washi. So I was really looking forward to seeing the wide washi. Okay, so it does have paper. Oh, you can do fussy cutting out of them. I don't want to take it open too far. There, we'll go that far. And then it does a repeat anyway. So there's the new washi that I have. I'm looking forward to playing with that. All about the florals today. I don't know. I think it's because it's spring. And I got two springs. The lilacs here are in full bloom and almost on the end of it. The lilacs in... Elora are just starting. So it was really kind of cool to be able to, to get two little mini springs. It was wonderful. All right. So what I'm going to do now at this point is play with some of this stuff and see what comes out of it. I do still have, you. if you watched my last video, I have organized all my stuff for my Delft blue one. That's all sitting here ready to go. I don't think I'm going to get it started this week because I'm only home for two days. On Wednesday, we're going down to Cumberland, Maryland to watch a production of Women of a Certain Age, which is a play my husband wrote. And um, I originated the role of Ruth in that play. Uh, it, I'll talk a lot more about that later on. But we're going down to see that. And then the craft fair is this coming weekend in Waterloo at the Celebrate Commemorate in Waterloo, New York. So um, it's a very, very busy week. Uh, it's a very busy month. So I don't think I'm going to get to the Delft Blue piece today. But you know darn well I am going to play with a few of these today just because I can't help it. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get a little no uh, notifications of anything in the future. Leave me a comment down below, even if you're just saying hello. It doesn't matter. Just say hey. Let me know that you're out there. If there's anything that you'd like to see me make with these, let me know that too. Um, or if you have any ideas for things that I should be working on, let me know. All right. This is Cindy signing off.